Good morning. Hope you are all well. Um, so it's a new day, obviously, new project. But yeah, no, so we are on a stair refurb job today. Um, new post to come out, and then we got a pre-primed new post to go back in. But, uh, base rail primed, spindles primed, and then an oak handrail. So a uh, nice little job. Um, shouldn't be like a massive one, but the trouble is we're fighting against the rain, as you can sort of see. Um, yeah, the weather's not really with us today, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on with it, um, and I'll keep you guys posted as I go, so enjoy. Right, so the old nil post is out um, and I'm just about to start marking up for the new one. Right, so post is clamped. Uh, I've just set the router up. Um, obviously there's more ways to do it than just the router, but for me it's the easiest and the cleanest way. So. Um, yeah, I'm using my little Dewalt quarter inch with, uh, I believe it's a trend, it's an extra long shaft. Um, I think it's like a 12.7mm. It's the one they supply with the hinge jig. So, um, yeah, so just a couple of passes, get it down to the depth we need, and then I can offer it up and then I can mark out the, the sides for the nosings and whatnot. So, that's the plan. <music> Shock horror, it's raining again. Perks of uh, working through the winter, I suppose. But yeah, just means uh, progress is gonna have to come to a halt for a minute um, because I've forgotten the pump to my gazebo. post is in um, running absolutely lovely um, just exactly as it should uh, so now I'm just gonna let the glue go off and just put some polyurethane in there um, just I find that's best really for, for holding the um, the nules in place because of the expansion that it, that it creates um, so yeah like I said gonna let that go off quickly um, I have just fixed it as well Bosch, just like that, handrails cut. Um, I don't know if you saw in that little clip then what I actually did, but um, what I do is I cut a spindle for the top and the bottom. I mark where the top side of that spindle is, so which gives me a mark for the underside of my handrail. Uh, and then I just drop a 10 mil to allow for the, the groove for the actual spindle. Clamp a little bit of scrap wood and it gives me something to sit my handrail onto. And it, it just seems to work well for me, so. Um, yeah. And just like that, it's done. So I hope you enjoyed that little insight into my you know my day uh, again um, 
if there's anything else you think you want to see let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah I'll see you on the next one